I'm Sam Whitson. I want to express appreciation for a few other folks who made this project possible. First of all, we could not have done this without our Board of Mayor and Alderman. Thank you so much. Our Board of Mayor and Alderman are creating a lasting legacy preserving and protecting our battlefield land. Future generations will be grateful for their vision and courage to support this project and other important civic en endeavors. Several uh, other organizations made monetary donations to purchase these gun carriages you see up here today. They include Chapter 14 of the United Daughters of the Confederacy, Franklin's Downtown Neighborhood Association, the Daughters of the American Revolution, the Civil War Roundtable of Lima, Ohio, the Tennessee Division of Sons of Confederate Veterans, Franklin's Charge, and Save the Franklin Battlefield, which also was the holding agent and purchaser of these new cannon carriages. We also had private donors from here in Franklin and across Tennessee, but also we had donors from just from Missouri, Alabama, Ohio, Maryland, Texas, Connecticut, Washington State, Pennsylvania, and even the United Kingdom. And finally, I want to recognize the Cannons on the Square Committee. My good friends and teammates that started this endeavor years ago and put it all together. And when I mention their names, I like for them to stand. Pam Lewis, <laughs> Alderman Mike Skinner, Dr. Sam Gant, and Sam Huffman. Good job, guys. I'm pleased to be with you. At this time, I would like to introduce and ask them to come forward, those participating in today's ribbon-cutting ceremony to dedicate our new cannon carriages. Alderman Clyde Barnhill, a U.S. Army veteran, native son of Franklin, and supporter of the gun carriage project. He will be assisting Miss Virginia Bowman, author and our county historian. Because of her lifelong commitment, because of her lifelong commitment to protecting and preserving our town square, from now on, we will call the gun that she is dedicating today, Virginia, in her honor. <laughs> and I also think it's appropriate that it will always be aimed at City Hall. <laughs> As a reminder to preserve historic Franklin. Also cut in the ribbon today is our mayor and U.S. Army veteran, the Honorable Dr. Ken Moore. He will be assisted by Miss Anna Kate Whitson, a Daisy Scout and kindergarten student in our local Oakview Elementary School. I would also like to ask the members of our Cannons on the Square Committee, Pam, Sam, Sam, and Mike, to join the, around the cannon that we now call Virginia. At, at the sound of the salute volley, the ribbons will be cut and the Franklin High School Band will end our ceremony by playing a medley of Civil War songs. So with that, let's cut.